The narrow Senator Lidema Olekina offers job to bold Wasengishu student Masi Tarus, who captured the nation's attention with her fearless confrontation of local leaders employed in a scholarship scandal. Tarus' remarkable act of holding leaders accountable for supposed scholarship fraud has not only made her an internet sensation, but also earned her recognition from prominent figures. She emerged as an unexpected champion of transparency and accountability when she confronted Wasin Gishu's leaders, including Senator Jackson Mandago, over a scholarship scam that saw her and fellow students lose significant amount of money. Her audacity in confronting these leaders for their alleged misuse of funds meant for scholarship resonated deeply with Kenyans across the nation. Senator Olekina took note of Taro's remarkable bravery and her willingness to stand up for what's right on his Twitter page. Senator Olekina wrote this and I quote, Masi Tarus, I would like you to work for me. Speak your heart. The future belongs to candid youth. Let's talk. And of quote, Tarus continued to raise her voice on the national stage during an appearance on Citizen TV on August 9. She addressed President William Ruto directly, urging him to intervene in the matter. She pleaded for justice, stating, We just want our money back. We do not want any more excuses. Please, President William Ruto, intervene as well as in issue is burning. The youths are desperate and depressed. We need our money, as this government was meant to cater to the needs of hustlers. End of quote. Was in Gishu County has been rocked with a scholarship fiasco in which parents paid millions of shillings for their children to pursue education at university in Finland, but that did not happen. This has led to a confrontation between the parents and leaders led by Wasingishu Governor Jonathan B. and his predecessor Jackson Mandago. Mandago, currently the area senator and whom he derived the scholarship, has said he will ensure parents who paid the money are refunded. This is MQ News.